had a summer outfit that you loved so much that you totally outwore it? I definitely have, especially when it comes to little white dresses. I am a sucker for those. My friends actually make fun of me because so much of the time when you see me, I'm wearing a little white dress. In the summer, we're out at barbecues, we're buying ice cream, we're running around in the sun and the heat. And this can make us wear out our clothes a little bit faster. So it's important to be careful when you're buying fabrics. These are also activities where we wanna be looking great and feeling comfortable. So I researched the properties of different kinds of summer fabrics so that we can look fantastic and feel great for many summers to come. But first, if you like shopping quality fashion, especially secondhand fashion, then click the like and the subscribe button because I'll be coming out with new videos once a week. Number one, wool. And no, I have not lost my mind. Not only is wool fabulous in the winter, but it's also great in the summer. It's got so many things going for it. For example, it keeps moisture away, it's antimicrobial, it's wrinkle resistant, odor resistant, UV resistant. But what are some of the cons? Just like when you're wearing wool in the winter, when you're wearing wool in the summer, you have to take care of it a certain way. And that means keeping it away from heat so that it doesn't shrink. Make sure to wash it in cool water and also hang it to dry. I personally, I'll be totally honest with you, I'm a little nervous about trying wool out in the summer, but I think that a good way to test it out is to maybe just try a wool scarf or a wool shawl. When it's getting a little cooler at night, it can be a nice layering piece and you can test out how suitable it really is for summer. Linen, it's a favorite of so many people when it comes to summer fabrics. People have been loving it and wearing it since the times of ancient Egypt. I mean, it's got so many of the things going for it that wool has going for it. It's comfortable, it keeps moisture away. Because it's loosely woven, it allows heat to escape from the body. But what are some of the downsides? Well, it wrinkles, obviously. So if you're out, you're at an event, you sit down, when you stand up, your dress might be a little wrinkly on the bottom. And I personally still think it's a really elegant fabric despite the wrinkles. It's also a little pricey, so it's one of those things that you can benefit from buying secondhand. Linen will stay nicer for longer if you avoid heat. So make sure that you're washing it in cool water and you hang it to dry. And don't throw it in the washing machine because if you do, when you take it out, it's gonna be super wrinkly. And who wants to deal with that? Who wants, to, who wants to be spending hours of their time de-wrinkling an outfit? The best thing to do is to actually take the item when it's still a little bit wet after it's been airing to dry and then iron it. Iron it a bit damp. If you think linen is a great summer fabric too, then write the word linen down in the comments below. So scientists have found cotton cloth dating back thousands of years in Mexico and Egypt it's also one of the most widely available fabrics on the market, so there's got to be something to it. Well, it's a fantastic summer fabric. It's got so many things going for it. It's breathable, it's durable, etc. But what do you need to keep in mind if you're looking to invest in a cotton piece? Well, I would say invest in a steamer because it too can get wrinkly. And unfortunately, it doesn't have the same moisture wicking properties as some of the other fabrics. It is moisture, uh, it is moisture resistant to an extent, but even so, it can be prone to sweat stains. But I've heard that you can keep a spray bottle of water and vinegar on hand so that if there's any staining, you can spray it ASAP before you throw it in the wash to maximize the odds of getting rid of any stain. A great type of cotton is chambray. It's actually a really good alternative to denim. It looks like denim, but it's lighter and a little more comfortable in the summer. Again, this is another one of those classic fabrics that's been around for hundreds of years. The great thing about this one is that it's actually very easy to throw in the wash. So if you like low maintenance, chambray is a great choice. A tip that I have is to buy a chambray shirt because I think it can be a great layering piece over a cute summer dress. And of course, to stay cool, it's always better to go for a lighter blue as opposed to a darker blue. Sucker is known for its puckering, which means that you have to iron it less often, it doesn't look wrinkly as easily, and it's very airy, letting the summer air flow through to keep you cool. Silk is one of my favorite fabrics because it's so beautiful, but it doesn't quite absorb moisture like some of the other fabrics that we've spoken about. Also, the fibers are sensitive to the sun, 
the sun can break them down, which is not a good thing. So if you love silk, you love the look, it can be a great choice, but much better to wear in the evening as opposed to during the day in the summer. If you love silk too, then write the word silk down in the comments below. Oh, and give this video a like or a thumbs up if you're finding this information useful so far. Now you might be wondering, why not polyester? Well, it's gotta have something going for it if it's so widely available and so popular. And I'll admit, there are some good qualities to polyester. But that being said, it's usually not as durable as some of the other fabrics that we've spoken about. And it's also very sensitive to oils. So if you spill something oily like food or you get a little bit sweaty, then you can damage polyester relatively quickly. And on top of that, it's not quite as breathable. So unfortunately, it did not make the cut for those reasons. If you like this video, then please click the like button and also subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.